Hey guys, Owen here with Seek Outside. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to set up the Eolus inner or two person nest inside this Eolus. So let's get to it. First thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this Eolus nest out of the bag. And you're gonna see that it's gonna match the footprint fairly well. And so you're gonna have two yellow cordage on each side and it's a really simple install here. So if you follow me over here, we're gonna find our zipper side. The zipper is gonna to point towards our zipperless doors here. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the, a very important thing to have is that you have a dedicated stakeout loop here uh, where this loop isn't gonna tighten or loosen. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tie a little slip knot in this right here. Get that all set up. Get this slip knot set up. I'm gonna remove this from the stake. And I'm simply gonna slide this piece on, tighten that slip knot around there, and I'm just gonna put this against the stake again, tighten everything out. And this is really cool because this allows you to remove it or keep it on the shelter really easily. We're gonna do this for the next side over here. All right, now we're gonna just thread this nest through, make sure it's not interfering with the poles, and then we're gonna pull it out on the other side. So now we're gonna pull this through. We're gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna just pull the stake out real quick, tie myself a quick slip knot. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten that onto the stake loop right here. So get this slip knot nice and small, pull this through, and tighten it up. And then we're just gonna thread the stake through again. And we're gonna do that for the other side as well. So we got everything in here installed. Uh, now what we're gonna do is there's a line lock inside. I'm just gonna pull these tight. Get that floor pan out real nice. I'm gonna do the same deal over here. And now it's time to go inside the tent. So this nest isn't directional. As you see, we have two toggles here. Just go ahead and thread it in to whichever toggle spot you have. We're threading that through. We'll do the same thing over here on this side. And that allows you to guy out the shelter, get a little room if you need. And then we're on to our next part. So the tensioning system to the top of the shelter is gonna be two toggles. Uh, if you already have your shelter set up like we do, I'm just gonna drop this pole real quick. We're gonna go inside here. And if you come up real close, you can see we have a D-ring. Now this D-ring we're gonna thread both of these toggles through. So we're gonna thread this first toggle through. Then we're gonna to thread the second toggle through. And we're gonna tension this toggle until we have about an inch of space in between there. And then what we do, sorry about that. And then what we do is we take our other toggle and we tension it right up against this other toggle. And that's how you get your tension here. You get no slippage. So now we're simply just gonna put our pole back in here and repeat this process to the other side. All right, so now we have the nest fully set up. There's dual zippered entry doors and you have one last, last optional setup. Apart, you can simply tie this to your pole and this is on both sides and you can have a nice little kind of guy out point move your pole out if you want, create yourself a little space. So the Olus nest is great for two people. One person, it's a palace. Uh, it's really great against protecting bugs and stuff. This whole setup comes in under two, or over two pounds, just a hair over two pounds. Uh, so it's super light and uh, definitely highly recommended. Anyways, I hope this video was informational and helpful and I hope it uh, got some nests in you guys of the Olus's. Go ahead and check us out on Facebook and Instagram and uh, go check out the Seek Outside YouTube channel for some more informational content on how to do setups, 
ETC. So you guys have an amazing day. Bye.